welcome to the area school. Useful animals part two. Hi kids, what is up? How are you doing today? It's me, Aya with you today. I like animals very much and I'm going to share with you some more information about other useful animals. Donkey Donkeys are one of the most useful animals to humans. They are mostly used to protect livestock such as horses, goats and sheep from coyotes and wolves. Donkeys are very good at alerting you from any kind of danger. They are also used to bring people up in the mountains. Pig Pigs are most useful as pig eaters. They often eat all surplus crops and food byproducts that humans will not eat. Pigs are raised both at the individual and industrial scale. Pork is still one of the most popular kinds of meat among humans. Pig heart valves are even used as a replacement for failing heart valves in humans. Elephant Elephants are one of the most important creatures on planet Earth. One of the most important roles of elephants is to maintain the biodiversity of the ecosystem in which they survive. They are used by humans for labor and transportation. However, elephants are under threat because of the ivory trade and habitat loss. Camel Camel is also one of the most useful domesticated animals. They can survive for a full week without eating and drinking. Also, they can carry heavy loads up to 300 kilometers a day. Camels tell about direction so they help us in reaching the destination without getting lost in desert. Humans also use camel's milk and make cheese from it. They are often called ships of the desert. Goat Humans easily digest goat milk. It is one of the best alternatives for infants and people who have a problem with cow milk. Also, Cured prepared with goat milk is smaller and more digestible. Kashmir goats produce the best fiber. It is also one of the best wool in the world. It is extremely fine and soft. Humans also use goat skin to create boots, gloves and many other products. Did you like this episode? Let us know by giving likes. See you soon. Unit of Land Hello kids! It's Aria with you today. We are going to talk about Unit of Land. Inch The inch is a small unit of land. 12 inches make up a foot. Compared to the metric system, an inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Inches are used for smaller lengths such as measuring the length of the pencil or the width of the eraser. Foot A foot is also a unit of length. There are 12 inches in the foot and 3 feet in the yard. Compared to the metric system, a foot equals 0.3048 meters. Feet are used to measure medium-sized lengths, such as the height of the person or the width of a room. Yard The yard is a unit of length used for a medium-sized distances, like the length of the football field. There are three feet in a yard. In the metric system, one yard is 0.9144 meters. Mile The mile is used for long lengths like the distance between two cities. There are 5.280 feet in a mile. There are around 1 and 6 kilometers in a mile. Meter The metric system uses the meter as its basic unit of length. For a very small length, a millimeter is used which is thousands of a meter. Kilometer the kilometer is used for long distances in the metric system. 
there are 1000 meters in a kilometer. Much more interesting and useful information awaits you in the following episodes. See you later! The most useful animals to humankind Hello friends! I decided to tell you about the most useful animals to humankind. Cow! Cows are really the most useful animals to humans. They provide milk. Milk can be used to make dairy products like ghee, cream, butter, yogurt, cheese, etc. Chicken! It is one of the most common domestic animals. They will help you to keep active and lower your blood pressure. They are also one of the most emotionally intelligent creatures. Also, you do not have to buy another X from the market. It will take approximately 18 to 24 hours for a chicken to produce an egg. They have very tasty meat. Chicken feathers also have a variety of uses. Horse! Humans have been using horses for centuries for different purposes. During the early days, they were a food source. However, later they are being used as a mode of transportation. They also help humans by pulling heavy loads on them and carrying wagons. Horses are also very helpful in farm work, plowing, pleasure riding, races and companionships. It is also one of the friendliest animals in the world. Dog Dogs also help humans in getting out of deep depressions with the help of their companionship. As per reports from American Heart Association, dogs help us in lowering our blood sugar, which has again multiple health benefits. Dogs can also detect cancer. They guard the people and their homes. Sheep Humans use sheep's wool widely in clothing, right from socks and jumpers to suits and costumes. Sheep skin is also used to make soft leather. Also, some of the famous cheeses around the world are made from sheep's milk. Sheep have also used in science and medicine. That's all for today. Don't forget to like this episode. Solar System Facts Hi kids! Let's talk about solar system facts. Our solar system consists of 8 planets which all orbit around our home star, the Sun. The solar system was formed a crazy 4 and 6 billion years ago. It consists of 8 planets which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Mercury. The closest planet to the Sun is only about as wide as the Atlantic Ocean. 18 Mercuries would fit into the Earth. The planet does not have an atmosphere, just like it is on all other planets. This is also the fastest planet. It speeds with pace with 31 miles per second. Venus. Venus named after the Roman goddess of beauty. Yellow clouds made of sulfur and sulfuric acid cover the entire planet causing light to reflect off the surface. This makes Venus the second brightest object in the sky after the moon. The surface of Venus hosts thousands of volcanoes, craters, super high mountain ranges. Earth Earth is the fifth largest planet of our solar system and has one large natural satellite, the Moon. All planets were named after Roman and Greek gods and goddesses except the Earth. The name nevertheless is more than 1000 years old and means just ground. Everything one ever known is here, the only place where life is known to currently exist. About 70% of the Earth's surface is water covered. Mars Mars, the most likely candidate for a future human habitat, has huge storms that occur every now and then and cover the entire planet. Mars is very cold and dry, but water exists in form of ice at the north and south poles. The surface of Mars has many craters, deep valleys and volcanoes. Mars has two moons 
called Phobos and Deimos. Both are probably asteroids which were caught up by Mars' gravitational field. Jupiter Jupiter is the largest planet in solar system. The most famous feature on the surface of the planet is a great red spot, which is actually a storm that has been blowing for about 350 years, if not longer. Saturn Saturn is a gas giant just like Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus. This means that it doesn't really have a proper solid surface, as it is mainly made up of gases with a small rocky core. Saturn is the second largest planet and is known for its rings. Although the other gas giants also have this kind of rings, only Saturn's rings can be seen the clearest. Uranus Uranus is the second furthest planet from the Sun and therefore also has to travel a pretty long time to go once around our home star. It takes Uranus roughly 48 years to orbit once around the Sun. Uranus is a blue planet not because of water, but because of gases that make it appear blue. Uranus orbits on its side, which means that its seasons are completely different to ours. Summer and winter each take 21 years at the North and South Poles. Neptune Neptune is closely related to Uranus. The atmosphere is composed of almost the same gases and just like Uranus, Neptune also appears blue. Neptune inherits its name from the Roman god of the sea as reference to its deep blue color. Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun and it takes 165 years for Neptune to go once around the sun. It was me, Aria, with you today. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it. The main parts of human body Hi kids! It's Aria with you today. It's nice to see you again. Today we will talk about the main parts of human body. To survive and reproduce, the human body relies on major internal body organs to perform certain vital functions. When two or more organs along with their associated structures work together, they become component parts of a body system. Some of the easily recognizable internal organs and their associated functions are The brain The brain is a control center of the nervous system and is located within the skull. Its functions include muscle control and coordination, sensory reception and integration, speech production, memory storage and the elaboration of thoughts and emotions. The lungs The lungs are two sponge-like cone-shaped structures that fill most of the chest cavity. Their essential function is to provide oxygen from inhaled air to the bloodstream and to exhale carbon dioxide. The liver The liver lies on the right side of the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm. Its main function is to process the contents of the blood to ensure composition remains the same. This process involves breaking down fats, producing urea, filtering harmful substances, and maintaining a proper level of glucose in the blood. The bladder The bladder is a muscular organ located in the pelvic cavity. It stretches to store urine and contracts to release urine. The kidneys The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located at the back of the abdominal cavity one on the each side of the spinal column. Their function is to maintain the body's chemical balance by exerting waste products and excess fluid in the form of urine. The heart The heart is a hollow, muscular organ that pumps blood through the blood vessels by repeated rhythmic contractions. The stomach the stomach is a muscular, elastic pear-shaped bag lying crosswise in the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm. Its main purpose is digestion of food through production of gastric juices which break down, mix and turn the food into the thin liquid. The intestines The intestines are located between the stomach and the anus and are divided into two major sections, the small intestine and the large intestine. 
the function of the small intestine is to absorb most ingested food. The large intestine is responsible for absorption of water and excretion of solid waste material. Thank you for watching! If you found our episode useful, let us know in comments down below. Geometric shapes And right now, we are going to learn geometric shapes that will be useful for you in future. And here they are. Cube Hexagonal prism Torus And this shape called sphere. The next one is tube. Triangle prism. Square based pyramid. Square. And guess this shape? It's cone. Hemisphere. And the last one is octahedron. If you like this episode, let us know in comments down below. The top 5 longest rivers in the world. Hi kids, my name is Arya, and today we will talk about the top 5 longest rivers in the world. The long and windy flow of the river is an important part of development for any country or culture. Being used for transportation, agriculture, or serving a tourist attraction, providing a visual feast one won't forget. Each and every river is crucial for the area it runs through. But where are the longest and greatest rivers located? Check out our list below to get the answer to that question. Nile River This major river in northeastern Africa is known as the longest river in the world. Stretching over 6,695 kilometers, the Nile is flowing through 11 countries. Sudan, South Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda, Congo Kinshasa, Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Uganda, and Egypt. Amazon River This is the largest river in South America and is used for transportation and agriculture purposes. As the second longest river in the world, the Amazon River is 6,400 km long and at some points reaches the width over 6 miles. Yangtze River The longest river in Asia flows for 6,300 km from Qinghai Tibet Plateau in western China to the East China Sea at Shanghai. The Yangtze River is known in China as the Changjiang and is the longest in the world to flow entirely within one country. Mississippi River Mississippi River is the largest river system in North America, flowing entirely through the United States, from Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. It is 3,730 km long, being ranked as 4th longest and 10th largest river in the world. Yenisei River Being 3,000 442 km long, the Yenisei River is fifth of our list, racing in Mongolia and flowing into the Arctic Ocean. This river is subject to very wide seasonal temperature variations, from over 30 Celsius degree in the summer 
to minus 30 in the winter time. It puts me Aria with you today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episodes.